We're James and Kelly with Two Tickets Around the World. Today we are taking a break from our Silk Road Trip videos to share with you some incredible views from Huang Shan. Huang Shan is also called the Yellow Mountains and is located in Anhui Province. On New Year's Day, we took a four-hour speed train from Suzhou to Huang Shan. The next station is Huangshan Bay Station. It is January 1st and we are spending our first day in the new year in Huangshan. We just took the speed train here, took about four hours. We're spending our first night in the city and then tomorrow we're going to take the cable car up uh, onto the mountain and then hike the rest of the way and to our hotel where we'll be staying a night on the mountain. the transportation hub right now. We just stopped to get a bite to eat for our bus. To get here, right when you get out of the train station, you need to make an immediate right and then walk down. There's buses out on the courtyard, but those are like local city buses. Uh, you don't want to go there. You want to go to the transportation hub where you can buy a ticket to Tangko or Huangshan. We are now trying to find out how to get to our hotel. It's trying to see if we can get a taxi, but it doesn't really look like there's any taxis out right now. Or we missed them all. Got a DD. Kelly got a DD. Yeah. She figured it out. Yeah, I did. We are now at our hotel. The card isn't working, so we gotta go back downstairs and get a car. Staff is seems very nice and friendly, and we have no problems checking in at all. Now let's wait to see what the room looks like. So we have made it into the room. They gave us a new room because they can't open the other door. But first thing you have to do is you have to put the card into this to turn the electricity on. Right in here. You got your bathroom. And it comes with a shower. Mm, nice tiles. Tiles. It's nice. We have a coat rack to hang up our stuff. Yeah. Let's see how the bed is. Ooh, that sounds hard. Oh, it is. Not as hard as Lonjo though. Oh, Was it Lonjo? No. Jung Ye. Jung Ye. Yeah, Jung Ye. Not as bad as Jung Ye. Alright, good morning everyone. We are just getting ready to leave our hotel. Kelly had a class this morning, so we stayed in the hotel for her to teach that. And then we are now heading out to get some breakfast, and then we're gonna go to the mountain. We were told by our friends that you should probably bring snacks and stuff up to the top because it's pretty expensive at the hotel. So we also need to stop by and buy some snacks. Let's go. So we got breakfast at our hotel. Our favorite dish, noodles. Our hotel was super nice and we got a free ride to the Huangshan bus station. We stopped and grabbed some snacks and water for the top of the mountain. Now we need to go take a bus to get to the mountain to take a cable car to the top. So let's go. ticket to go get on the bus to take us to the entrance of the mountain. Now we need to go buy a ticket for the cable car and the entrance into the mountain. We are now in line for the bus to get to the Huangshan. There are two different entrances for a different bus to take. They'll take you to different sides of the mountain. So make sure you confirm which bus to take or you could go to the completely opposite side of where you need to be. On to the bus. There are two ways that you can take to get up to 
Phong Shan. You can either take a three hour walk up the mountain if you are fit, but it could also take you up to five hours. Or you can take a 10 minute cable car to the right. We cable car are unfit. So we're taking the cable car. the cable car to go up to the mountain. It was 430 kwai for both the entrance ticket and the ticket for the cable car for two people. Yeah, so it's a little expensive, but it saves you quite a bit of time. about today is how clear the sky is. Being in China you don't get extremely clear skies very often. No, oh, and a lot of people that come to Huangshan actually just get the mist over the clouds. Not many people get blue skies that allow you to see the whole mountain range. It's just incredible. So it seems like there's a lot of people right now. This place is usually packed. So we are a little lucky. There's only a handful of people, not hundreds. So we are here in January and it's pretty icy. Uh, make sure to bring hiking boots because it is pretty slick and in tennis shoes you just be slipping and sliding. We don't have hiking sticks. Probably should have got some, but we're doing fine without them. No, we're going to Bay. Bye. But didn't you say Shishin? No, it's Next Hai. Hai Shin. Trying to figure out where our hotel is. Can I see the address? Yeah, it's not gonna really help. Stop in for a second to drink some water and eat a Snickers. Cause it was getting hangry. He said don't take the wrong cable cars and you don't get lost. Well, I think we got Took the rocket. Distance to go. Ugh. Second snack break. Oreo. With an awesome view. Hotel is in the Huangshan Mountains, so we have 
the perfect view outside and we hope to go drop our bags off and find a good spot for sunset because the sunset's gonna be in two hours. We have made it to our hotel. We are staying at Bai Yoon Hotel, which is in the mountains. It took us about three hours to walk from the cable car to here and there may be a closer cable car. We'll figure that out tomorrow. Now let's give you a little room tour. At check-in they gave us a nice cup of tea and they walked us to our room. So you walk, have a nice bathroom. You gotta step up. Separate shower. Bathroom. We do have twin beds but I think we could probably push them together. You said that last time. Yeah. And then the bed. Soft. And we have a mountain view. many peaks that you can watch the sunset. We went to Turtle Peak and we were very lucky because the bright summit was full of people. Stay on the mountain so you can see the sunset. You won't regret it. 